Okay, you ordered the solderless three position strat switch, the B165. You also got two humbuckers and you have one volume and one tone. EMG sends you some wiring diagrams, but unfortunately, they're not the ones you need. Uh, there's a PDF on their website for one volume, one tone, and I also have it here in the show more section. Or you could just watch the video and see how to connect everything solderless. Okay, we got a Jackson JS32Q. Q's quilted. It's got a quilted top. Pickup's already in. It's got one volume, one tone. Alright, the cavity of this thing uh, is routed out for a one volume, one tone, and then your selector switch. Three-way selector switch goes right here. The way this is, I don't have a router, so I used a utility knife and that wood scraper so that it fits flush. So I just took a little bit of the wood out. Okay, if you ordered the three-way selector switch, the Strat S3B165, that's what this is. EMG comes with these buses with the Velcro in the back that you can stick in there. You don't need that. You just need this selector switch. EMG85 in the neck and the one that's already connected here is the 81 in the bridge. On these red, you could see if you have a magnifying glass because <laughs> it's really small, that there's an arrow sticking up. So you want the arrows always facing up on these connector switches. So if you look right here, it says bridge. So this longer one was the bridge. We put it. Okay, it says black and white. You can see black and white plus your little teeny arrow there is facing up. So that's our neck pickup. Just slide it on. The arrow is facing up on the little red. Slide it next to it. Okay, so on the three-way selector, the B165, you now have your pickups connected. Okay, next, get that bad boy. That goes to your nine volt, red and black. Red's positive, black is negative. On your three-way here at the very top there, you see negative. So, you know, if you got flip this sucker around your arrows facing up there's your black and your red so connect your battery right here it says the ring tip and sleeve ring is green so you should have a green for the output jack so look for the arrow, there it is, put it on the first one, come on girl, yeah come on, come on, there you go, okay, take one of these jumper cables, arrow facing up, where it says black white slide that on so then your three-way will have your nine volt at the top a green and this little jumper okay the three-way selector the jumper cable that we have right here it's going to go arrow up to the very first of the volume pot. Take another jumper cable. We're gonna go from the volume right here, the second one. We're gonna go to the second two of the tone pot. O 
okay this I'm going to our input jack so we're going to take this from the tone Okay, your input jack. The tip is the top highest point. The one directly across is the connector for the tip. If you you know if you follow it down, it goes the whole way back and up. So that is the hot. So from the tone, the hot is the white. So you're gonna put that over. The black, if you could see on your input jack, the black is right here in the middle and it's just grounded right in the center. So your black goes in the center. And then the green is your ring. And that goes basically next to the tip. The highest point is the tip next to it is the green then the ground and then the hot which is the white during that install I, these come on the selector switch these shunts so this lower half of the selector switch i don't i assume we're not using that so you can keep those on there they're really not doing anything the wire from your bridge or tremolo or whatever you have, I just have it taped to the body here. You could snip it or whatever. You're not going to use that or reconnect that. Pick up wires and I just tuck them over here. And then the battery, as you can see, I just tucked above the tone. Fit nice for that. And then, like I said, I had a route out for that this B165. This thing barely fits, man. But it fits. Here's an added hack or bonus tip. If you've got an 85 and an 81, or if you've got two humbuggers, whatever, the buses that they gave you that you're not going to use, let's take this Velcro off. And your 9 volt that you put in the cavity of your guitar, stick this to the 9 volt and stick this in your guitar. They fit and are locked perfectly together. I mean, you'll get one time use. Maybe it'll stick to the second 9 volt if you ever replace it. Who knows? But shit, something to think about. Thank you.